Hi guys, again another week. Um, so yes, I am pregnant. I feel like I'll get a lot of comments on that or questions about how I'm doing. And well, I am great. I'm 13 weeks along as of Friday. And we know we don't know the gender yet, not until about the middle of August. So we're just happy plugging along. I haven't really been sick or anything, just ravenously hungry all the time. So that's pretty much the extent. Learning how to swallow prenatal pills that are this big, which is just not my favorite, but learning new things. So do anything for the baby. <laughs> but yeah, we're great. Um, we hit a year anniversary on Saturday. So lots of exciting things going on. Today, let's jump right in. Um, I am talking about something that has been on my mind a lot lately. And I've heard like, just a lot. I feel like there's a lot of confusion, especially among members of the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, of how to love people that are doing something maybe against what we believe or that we don't understand, that we haven't experienced. Um, somebody going through something hard and like how we're supposed to react to that. Pretty much no judging. Um, I've talked about judgment before, um, but feel very prompted to share some thoughts on this again. Um, before I shared some experiences I had while I was working at the hospital with other employees, um, but I just feel like it's just very prominent in my life right now. Um, and I feel like this message is for me. <laughs> like I've said, a lot of times these messages that I feel prompted to share are things I'm learning or that God is like, you know, correct yourself or <laughs> things like that. So though we're learning together here. Just keep that in mind. Um, I'd like to start with a scripture um, that is in 3 Nephi chapter 22 verse 10. It's not the whole scripture. It's actually something today in Relief Society they were talking about, which literally was just like another concrete sign to me that I needed to talk about this because it was literally exactly what I was going to talk about today. And in the scripture, it's talking about something, but in it, it says, it's Christ talking to the people. He says, my kindness shall not depart from thee. And that's by Christ. Um, and I love, they were talking um, about that scripture a little bit, how he says, shall. And that's not like, maybe it won't, or unless you do this, it won't, it, like, it won't work for you, or it's not contingent on, every, on anything. Um, my kindness shall not depart from thee. Um, no matter what we're doing, no matter who you are, what you're struggling with, what your personal trials and difficulties are, where you are in your life, what choices you're making, what choices your kids are making, your grandparents are making, your neighbors are making, um, his kindness will never depart from them. Um, and it never, ever will. <laughs> never will. I think that's amazing that Christ's love is eternal. It doesn't matter what we do. His love's not going away. Um, and he is our example. And that's kind of hit me <laughs> lately. Like, okay, so no matter what people do, I am taught by example that my kindness sh should never depart from that person, ever. They should never be excluded from me. They should, my kindness should never be taken away because of how they are, or something they've done or something they're struggling with. And that is, that is something to think about. That's something that I've really been pondering lately. Um, 
I have found that I truly need to repent. <laughs> I found that um, I have been very judgy, um, maybe without realizing it because I consider myself a kind person, try not to be judgmental, but honestly, like I look at myself and at certain things or issues that come up or certain topics that come up make me uncomfortable. I don't know how to react. I don't know how to talk to people struggling with it. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? There's just some things going around where I'm like, I I don't know what to do, so I'm not going to do anything about it. Um, and I felt myself judging people wrongly because of that. And we... One example, LGBTQ people, I've, I've struggled with understanding how to deal with that, um, supporting people, loving them, even though they have that trial. Um, I've heard other members having just wondering what we're supposed to be doing. And I know people that have people in their family where they're also trying to just figure out how to keep the church in their home. And um, I've just found myself just thinking I'm the judge, just this is not right. Therefore, I don't know how to talk about it. So I'm not going to talk at all um, to you or to whatever. And that, that sounds bad. And I'm not saying I do this directly to a person, but it's just myself. I'm silently judging um, people. And I saw a story on um, uh, an account, sorry, brain cramp there, an account on Instagram called Come Follow Me Daily or Come Follow Me something. And it was a story about a mom who was struggling because a few of her children were just making wrong choices and obviously veering off the path. And for years, it was just killing her. And at one point she was like, I don't know what to do anymore. Like I've tried to tell them, we've taught you this and these are the blessings and this is what we're supposed to do. These are the commandments, you know, this is true. Um, but eventually she prayed and she was like, I can't do this anymore. Like. Christ, I am giving you this burden because I have done all that I can do. And at the end, whoever's in charge of the account um, made a comment back to this lady and said, we are not called to judge or to save. Those positions have already been perfectly filled. We are called to love. And honestly... <laughs> that is the truth and I think as humans it's so hard for us to just love people regardless of what they're going through but I think of Jesus if he were here he would not care what people looked like he wouldn't care what people were doing, wouldn't care what their specific trial was they were struggling with, wouldn't care how far from the path they were, wouldn't care if they were a strong member of the church. It doesn't matter. Christ, Jesus Christ would love them so much because his kindness will never depart from them, no matter how they are in any way. Um, and my eyes have just been open to the fact that I have been trying to be the judge me, imperfect me. And I'm sure a lot of us are guilty of that. I'm sure there's some people like, crap, I'm the same. Um, and, you know, I, I think that's why we have the atonement is because these moments are going to come. And there's things that, frankly, we just don't understand unless we're going through it. There's so many things that I have no right to judge because I will never have all the facts on someone else's life. I don't know what they've been through to get to where they are today. I don't know why that person left the church. I don't know if this is 
her first time back in four years. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that member that looks faithful sitting in the pew is actually on the brink of losing their testimony. I don't know. I am not the judge. I am not called to be the judge. We did not come to earth to judge. Um, now, we are commanded to judge righteously. We know right and wrong. We judge that way. <laughs> okay, this is, is this right? Is this wrong? But we don't get to judge when we love and where we put our kindness. Um, because like I said, we don't know what it's like to be another sh in another's shoes. And we probably never will. So we're not called to judge that person. We're called to love them. We're called to be saints. We're called to be like Christ and do what he would do. And I guarantee he would love them so much. Um, there was a quote. Sorry, this is kind of a long video. I'm trying to get through it. Um, from M. Russell Ballard. He said, occasionally I hear of members offending those of other faiths may I add, those of those who have left the church, those who are leaving the church, those who are just coming back from the church, have trials we don't understand, etc, etc, million things. Um, so they offend those people like that by overlooking them and leaving them out. I have heard about narrow-minded parents who tell children they cannot play with a particular child in the neighborhood because their families aren't members of the church. This kind of behavior is not in keeping with the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. I cannot comprehend why any member of our church would allow those kinds of things to happen. I have never heard the members of the church urged to be anything but loving, kind, tolerant, and benevolent to our friends and neighbors of other faiths. We are called to love. And honestly, what a relief. We don't have to judge. We're not called to judge. God will be the judge. I love how that quote before said that those positions have already been perfectly filled. God is the judge and Christ is here to save. We are called to love. We're called to love unconditionally, no matter what people are going through at the time live by example. I'm not saying that we have to okay everything that's wrong that people do. I'm saying that we love them no matter what they're doing. <sighs> to members of the church, don't judge people leaving, people struggling with their faith, people who haven't been in a while. We are all guilty of talking or thinking Oh, what did they do? What's going on? We're guilty of that, okay? But also to people struggling with their faith, people who aren't members of the church, people who are inactive, haven't been in a while, don't judge members for being imperfect. I mean, this goes both ways. <laughs> members of the church are not perfect people either. Like I'm saying right now, I, I know I need to repent because I know that I've judged where I shouldn't have. Um, but also people struggling tend to say, oh, because they didn't understand this, they're evil. They don't understand everything I'm leaving. But understand, members are not perfect either. This is Christ church and imperfect people are trying to teach what he taught and trying to learn. It's a, it's a hospital, the church. We're all, we're all broken. We're all trying to learn. Um, I just want you to know that I love you and that I'm trying to be better about this. Um, that I'm learning and I'm, I'm trying to open my heart more to loving every person and not putting my place where God should be, trying not to be the judge of everything. And I hope this made sense. And I love you and I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.